I'm Riaz Ali. I'm here to talk about the proof test interval for the safety instrument function loop for the safety instrument system. Proof test interval is allocated during the detailed design stage for a safety instrument function loop while assigning the SIL budget. Generally, it is assumed that proof test interval will make a full coverage for electrical, electronics, and programmable logic controllers. However, that may not hold good for mechanical items. Many of the customers or end user thinks that moving the valve to 100% travel can get them a perfect proof test interval. That is not correct because mechanical degradation may have caused improper seating. And suppose the application is such where any leakage to the environment or to the pipeline may not be permissible and assuming that as a perfect proof test can lead to erroneous results. And the consequence may be possibly that you are thinking that you are achieving a higher safety availability, which is in reality not the case. By not having a perfect proof test interval and having imperfect could lead possible leakage through the seating area of a final element which could become as a cause of a big accident like fire, combustion, vapor cloud, or any kind of undesired consequences can occur. For mechanical items, this is a very important point unless the valve has been taken back to the workshop, looked into properly, all the degradation of the metallurgies, plus the trim area, plus the seat area, and that will determine if you rebuild it and everything, and if you put it, then certainly you can claim as 100% proof. Do you have any additional questions on the proof test coverage for final element for safety instrument function? Please visit us at Emerson Exchange 365. We'll be more than glad to help you there.